Okay, on to the next step. We've started to hang the curtains from the ceiling. We're gonna probably get more so that we can cover more of the ceiling. And then probably get some of the soundproofing blocks up on there as well. So, up next is this dreaded sound booth. We've cleaned it out. All that's left now is to just give it a good sweep. Get it prepped, clean the walls a bit so that the adhesive sticks and the nails go in nicely. And the next time you see this, it'll be at least half covered with the foam. Okay, a little update. First few pieces are up. And because this room is so tight, I'm not gonna be using the spray glue just yet. I'm just nailing them in using these guys. Tiny, tiny little um, three quarter inch concrete nails. I'm not even sure if they are concrete nails or not, but they're going into the concrete very well. And this, what's happening here, it doesn't damage our foam. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that, but... All right, you see that little guy right there? That's our nail. And when the day comes, I want to remove that. I can still pull that out, pull it right through the foam and not damage the foam because it's so small, so tiny. And it holds it in there nicely and aesthetically, you can't see it. So awesome. We'll keep doing that. Most closets do have that middle piece so that you can get your uh, shelves or your top uh, shelf up there and then your rod to hang your clothes on. So we have to remove that. We could have easily went over it with this, but I didn't want it to. I want it to be flush. I don't want any nails sticking out anywhere. So now we have a big mess to clean up, but it's gonna be much easier to fill in the rest of the closet without that in the way. Looks good already. All right. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is the bottom half, we're pretty much complete. The top, I don't know if you'll be able to squeeze in here, but give it a try. You'll notice that uh, there's little gaps. I don't know if you'll be able to get in here. But it's okay if you have some gaps. If you notice there's a few spots here and there that it doesn't fully cover. Don't worry about it, especially if you have such a small booth. If you really want to be, you know, anal about this, you can put up sheets first. But I wouldn't, again, this is just small little space that all we really want to do is cover it enough so that when we close this door, it's already acting like a cool little vocal booth. One, two. I've always been charismatic and tall, jaded, dramatic, and bald. It's wicked already. And it's only covered, what, 65, maybe 70%. So again, if you don't cover every little piece of your closet, if you run out of these things even, don't worry about it. I might even be uh, off to, take, to taking some of these out. If I cover it 100%, close the door, start recording, oh, it's too dry, it's too damp, I might take some of these out or leave the door open a little bit. So don't worry if you're not in pieces or if you have little spots that are gacky. All right, I'll continue this. Get you guys, uh, here, come closer, show these guys. All I'm really doing, I'm pretty much right in the center. I'm pushing it through, left so that it just goes through. Lining it up. This is a concrete wall, so it sticks nice and easily for me. Stretching it out a little bit so that I can get at the nail easily. And then just a couple, it's done. Do that all the way around, you don't even need the glue. I might want to go in here afterwards and get the glue, at least a little bit, because when artists turn here, they're going to be you know, nudging up against this and they can't fit in here perfectly. So some of these will probably come off sooner or later. So probably we'll glue them. But if we get them up there first, staple the nails too. Okay, we'll see you guys when this is all complete. All right, we're almost complete. I'm on to my last few pieces. And of course, it's not gonna fit perfectly. If you're lucky, somehow this might have all fit perfectly for you, but chances are you'll need a few odds and ends to fill in little gaps. So just get a good quality pair of scissors, chop them up to whatever slices and dices you need, and fill in whatever little areas that uh, need filling, and consider yourself done. So as you can see, we just want to fill in that little gap right there. Maybe go along some of these edges. You can tell that we've already gone along this one. And this sounds great in here already. Okay, so after a ton of grueling hours, some demo, we have a fully functional sound booth. We've taken another nice thick sheet 
for the inside of the door. We might want to go ahead and reinforce the door some more as well. However, for now, we don't need to. I'm noticing it's still pretty good inside as far as insulation goes and sound reduction. Inside, we've simply laid one of those very fuzzy blankets on the floor. You can lay carpeting if you want. And without even closing the door, I'm just gonna give you guys a little Hey, I've always been charismatic and tall, jaded, dramatic, and bull. We've hung a mic. For now, it's just going over the light, but it will be hung from the ceiling. Then right about there, we're gonna have a shelf, maybe two, that'll come out and we can put a laptop on it, another microphone, or a screen coming out from our main board and a mouse and a keyboard extension so I can control Cubase and everything while I do the recording in here or if an artist is in here and they want to use the DAW while they record on their own and be in control and that's possible too. So Wicked, this whole thing cost us under 500 bucks. Uh, the foam itself was about three. This sheet was about 50 bucks. This blanket was about 30 or 40. The light was about 15 to 20. And that's about it. The nails, the spray glue, was about another 20, 30. So now depending on the mic or what mic you use, um, cardioid versus multi-directional, you can have different settings. You can place a, a piece of wood or a different kind of uh, reflective surface behind it and put it on a different setting. And you can treat the room itself differently by adding or removing elements from the room to make the room and the sound in here be a little bit more damp, a little bit more bassy, or a little bit more tight. Um, or again, have a reflector or two in here so that you can get that little bit of a kick and a bounce in the sound too. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. NC Media signing off. Keep making music, keep banging, keep making wicked tunes. Peace out.